hello guys welcome back so now let's just start working on our login screen so we will go to the login screen dot dot file and in here we need to simply remove this center widget and we will add a single child scroll view to the body so we can say single child scroll view since we, we have uh, you know multiple text fields so we must give the scrolling option to the user on the user interface so that's why we are using this single child scroll view and let me tell you of course the scrolling will works automatically when the widget exceeds the default size of the screen so the scrolling will appear that is the user can scroll easily so anyways let us start working on it child column widget children widget first of all at the top of the screen here we will basically add a icon icon image of tiktok so for that purpose i will provide this image file which is by the name tiktok please download it and once you download it then simply copy it and come back here to the project and now inside the project right click on your project name tiktok clone new and let's create a new folder new directory we will give it name as images press enter so images folder is created now right click on images click paste and click ok so now inside the images folder we have our tiktok.png image file which you can see here and now let's just as you know remember this thing that is whenever we add any image file or any uh, you can say any file any video file image file or any uh, asset type then that thing which we we have to uh, add it to the postgres.html file as well okay otherwise we will not be able to access this image file in our code we have to add this uh, reference to our popspec.ml file so we have to add that in here that is here you can see this asset comments okay first of all I will simply remove the comments from it like this and then this assets you can see that right this assets a must be below this uses material u as you can see here okay in proper alignment no space forward or no space backward but in proper alignment with this u you can see that okay and then this uh, let me remove this one then after that we have to add a reference to our folder where we will have our images so for example in according to the current scenario our images are inside this images folder which is by the same name images so we say images slash slash means whatever is inside this images folder that is now the part of our this flutter project so now it is included in our project and remember this dash sign this dash sign must be below the second s of assets okay no space forward or backward and then we have one space and then images that is the folder name which is images okay and whatever is inside it inside this folder that is now included that is that is now the part of our this flutter project so now we can use it anywhere in our code so now once you do that next thing is to click on pub get so process finish with exit code zero if the exit code is zero it simply means that it is now added successfully in our project so now we can use it so let's just come back here to the login screen dot dot file and now we can simply say image dot asset and we have to provide our image path that is inside the images folder inside the images folder we have the image file by the name tiktok.png so we can set tiktok.png just like this make sure to remove this return const okay const modifier remove it from here let me show to you guys the user interface so that we can see what we are doing so now let me just install the app So the app is running now and here you can see the icon so now we need to specify some width for it we do not need that big icon okay we will set it and the width for this will be 200 like this as you can see 
now next thing is we want this at the center of the screen so for that purpose we to wrap this column widget in a center so just click here before this column C okay and you will see this yellow bulb click on this yellow bulb and then click on wrap with center so now if you hot restart or reload then you can see it is moved to the center of the screen let's give some space to it from the top so we can say above the image dot asset we can say const size box and we will add a size box of height 100 then after the image icon of TikTok we have to add our title just to make the screen beautiful so using the text widget we can add that of course and that title will be let's say welcome now we will use beautiful fonts for the text in order to make the UI more beautiful that is to make it looks professional so for that purpose we will use the Google dependency so simply go to the pub.dev site pub.dev site and search for Google underscore fonts and this first one okay just click on that click on installing and then copy this dependency google underscore fonts copy it come back here to the project go to the popspec.yml file and we have to add this dependency below this cupertino icons just like this okay no space forward or no space backward okay otherwise you will get error it will it must be in proper alignment with cupertino icon c as you can see here and then click on pubget of course in order to install it in our project so that we can use it so exit code 0 means it is working fine so let's just come back here and if you see this as a suggestion click on get dependencies okay and now let's just apply the beautiful fonts on it so we can simply say style google fonts dot and which fonts you want so we have different types okay a lot of fonts beautiful professional fonts so whatever you like you can just access that by simply writing their name or you can choose anyone from here okay so we will go with this SEME then in here we have to specify the font size for it so let's say the font size will be 34 and then after it let's give some color color will be gray color and if you want you can of course make it bold so we can say font weight dot bold so this is our welcome message on the login screen after this let's say let's apply some the copy paste this text first this text which is down here and this one will be glad to see you and then the for font size 34 sam google uh, fonts we want for it which is seme acme you can say and then the color and of course we do not want it to be bold it will not be bold and as I told you guys you can change the font according to your um, choice okay whatever you like you can see this one so it is totally up to you whatever font you like you can just access it by your name okay so anyways I will go back to my own which is this one after it let's add some space and then we will start adding our input fields for getting email and password as an input from a user so that is something that we will do in the next video for now let me just write here a comment